Hey everybody, it's Mike Brewer from ApartmentHacker.com and tonight we're going to talk about We Will Miss You. We will miss you. That is the punchline to the following story. Southwest Airlines, they are getting set to take off uh, for a flight and the stewardess is standing at the front of the plane and she is talking about a seatbelt and her lead line is for those of you who have not sit in an automobile since 1954 we are going to talk about how to put on your seatbelt um, and she added a little bit of flavor as it relates to the seatbelt she made a little bit of fun of the seatbelt uh, and she exercises a little bit of sarcasm in her education about how important it was to put on a seatbelt in an airplane. Um, what happened after that was pretty amazing. There was a consumer, uh, somebody flying on that particular plane that wrote a letter to Herb Kelleher, who was the CEO of the airline at the time, uh, suggesting that that was completely unprofessional and that he thought that that person should be reprimanded and potentially fired for their, uh, their humor uh, as it related to something that was so important um, in terms of flying. So Herb uh, turned around and wrote a letter to that customer titled, We Will Miss You. We will miss you, Mr. Customer, that doesn't like the fact that we uh, promote fun uh, in our organization. We promote fun at our airline. We will miss you. Um, so the topic I want to talk about is this. It's an order uh, that I believe in my heart of hearts makes organizations great. And when you get this order right, your organization, uh, the business that your organization produces happens by default. That order is this. Talent is number one. The people that work for you are number one. First and foremost, the customer is second. Every day of the week, they are second. And your investors and shareholders, third place. They're third place. It doesn't mean that any one of those particular constituents is any less important than the other. The order just comes uh, with some particulars, and that is talent first, customer second, and the investor in the, uh, the investor uh, third. So what I think that does for you, I, I've forever promoted, and I, I read this somewhere, and I, I wish I could remember where I read it, but um, because it struck me and I have forever been impacted uh, by it, I wish I could remember it and, and give the, the right attribute. But that is this. Um, business or organizations are set in place to serve the people that serve it. And if I, as a leader, do a phenomenal job of serving the talent first, growing individuals, growing character and resourcefulness and uh, growing people outside of work as well as inside of work, if I do a really great job of that, then by default, that particular individual who feels cared about and loved, yes, I use the L word, loved and cared about, they will give that love and that care and mutual respect to the consumer, okay? You give it to them, they give it to the consumer, and then guess what happens by default? The business, the business. Care about your talent first and foremost. Your customer will be taken care of, and the investor and the owner gets taken care of by default when you do that well. So put your people first. Treat them as human capital. Invest in them. Make them great because they will make you great. That is it for tonight. Have a great week.